Welcome to St. Mary's. We'd like to talk about some of the things that you probably already know about, which are the social distancing, which is six feet apart. <laughs> uh, thank you, Father Christian. Yes. Um, also, wearing of masks and the proper wearing of masks, which includes covering your nose and your mouth. Now, I notice a lot of people sometimes wear a cloth mask or wear multiple masks, and really that's not necessary. It's very uncomfortable. It's, uh, you can wear a cloth, a cloth mask or a, a cotton surgical mask like this. This is a paper mask. It's made for us to use in the operating room, and it's exactly designed to do what we need it to do here was to isolate my respiratory secretions from the outside environment. Remember that COVID comes from where when we breathe. So keeping a mask on isn't really protecting you from the outside. It's protecting the outside from your contamination. We call that respiratory etiquette. And basically that means keeping your spit in yourself and not have it settle on surfaces where the virus could transmit by people touching surfaces and then picking up the virus. So the proper wearing of a mask includes, you can use a cloth mask, but a paper surgical mask is a lot more comfortable. Second thing is our social distancing, and the third and most important thing is hand hygiene. Hand hygiene is something that I always recommend, uh, but sanitizing hands when you come in and out of the church for services is essential, it's very important to protect you from contaminating the church, and then anything that you might pick up on the church, in the church, you can cl cleanse your hands as you leave, and that will help protect you from anything that you may have picked up in the church. I, from a community standpoint, too, I would just add, that's excellent, I would add that even though you still have this mask on, if you have to cough or sneeze, do it in your elbow, or if you have a tissue, hold it over your face and then dispose of the tissue and sanitize your hands. Um, stay home if you have any suspicion that you are sick. Don't write it off as, oh, these are my sinuses, this is that, blah, blah, blah. Stay home. What if you have been exposed to COVID or you think you might have been exposed to COVID? The most important thing to do is remain calm, first of all, and then don't rush, necessarily rush out and get tested. If you were exposed to somebody and you have symptoms at the time, absolutely get tested. But if you were exposed to somebody yesterday at a, at a party or a couple of days ago at a party, if you feel well, isolate yourself and then about, I'd say five, six, day, six to eight days after you had that encounter with somebody who was COVID positive, that's when you get the test. So another scenario that might be of uh, concern is you went somewhere on Wednesday. Um, we're not supposed to be having parties in the traditional way that we have, but if you have been exposed and exposure means 15 minutes within six foot of another person, feet of a person, whether you have a mask on or not, for 15 minutes in a 24 hour period. Okay, so if you had 15 minutes uh, uh, with somebody in a 24 hour period with a mask on or without a mask and you were closer than six feet and that person becomes uh, COVID positive or is uh, you learn it was positive or could have been positive at the time, say Wednesday, then you need to isolate yourself actually for um, up to 10 days, up to 14 days, depending upon the situation. And what, what is important is that you, when I say isolate, that means you don't come to church on Sunday. You don't go to another party on Saturday. You don't go, to, you stay home and you remain isolated from other people. Um, <clears throat> that's what we mean when we say that. Then after a time, which would be the six days, I guess it would be Tuesday through Thursday, you could be tested and that would tell you if you are asymptomatically infected. Because the problem with this germ, with this virus rather, is that 
you really may not ever know whether you have COVID or not because you don't always have symptoms. And that's why we're in this situation where we're, we have such high levels is there are a lot of people who are transmitting when they think they're fine and they're not. It's important to remember that the testing isn't positive immediately after exposure. It takes five to eight days for you to develop enough virus to be able to pick it up on a viral test. That's why you have to wait. So a negative test too early can give you what we call a false negative, which means you could easily still have the virus and you can't depend on an, a single a negative test to not continue the social distancing, mask and hand hygiene practices of, because the testing isn't perfect. A negative yeah. test, even in a carrier, known carrier, can be up to high as 30%, which means there are false negative tests in people who are still positive. It's just not a perfect system, unfortunately. So we still need to have a, a, a layer of caution. We care very, very much about everybody that comes to worship right. at this church. And the only way we can protect you is for all of us to be good citizens and good stewards of this beautiful ministry and to protect each other by wearing our masks, conducting hand hygiene. And if you think you've been exposed, isolate yourself. And if you don't have symptoms, you need to wait a minimum of five to six, even seven days before seeking a test because that's when the test is going to be the most reliable. And even then, there's about a 10 to 15% chance that it won't get the, the test correctly. So please understand that the testing is not perfect and we st can't let our guard down. So if you have questions about, we do have protocols, so if you have questions about whether it's safe for you to come back and what you might need to do. Maureen Cotter, as the head of the re-entry uh, committee, is more than willing to work with you and answer those questions. And she'll contact either Dr. Dayton or myself or whoever else is appropriate on the re-entry committee for those uh, to um, field your questions. But remember, if you're not sure, love your neighbor and stay home and isolate yourself. Number one, don't transmit this, somebody, this to somebody else. And we're here as a reentry committee to assist you in terms of your questions. Lastly, I just want to speak briefly about uh, the vaccine. Once you have been vaccinated, if you've been fortunate enough to get in line and get the vaccine, that does not mean that you can't get infected. And it does not mean that you'll necessarily won't carry the infection. We do not have enough data to suggest that people that are vaccinated don't carry the virus. We don't have that data yet. So we're still waiting to understand the role of vaccine. Remember that even under the best of circumstances, 5% of people that got the vaccine still got infected. This virus is so unpredictable that it could, it could kill your, the loved ones around you and the people in this church and anybody, anywhere that you come in contact with if you're an asymptomatic carrier. So, so to wrap up what we're saying basically is we don't have enough information to know what happens after people have been vaccinated. Some people can still get the virus, so please continue to practice the three hallmarks of infection control. Respiratory etiquette, which means wearing a mask properly over your mouth and nose, keeping your saliva and your secretions to yourself. Second, social distancing, six feet apart from people. Third, hand sanitizer. Hand hygiene is the single most important thing because this virus is contacted, contracted, excuse me, by you picking things up on your hands and rubbing your eyes and nose. That's how you get it, most likely. So please, those three things, hand hygiene, respiratory etiquette, and social distancing, even after you've received the vaccine is critical and important. Perfect. God bless you, God bless this beautiful ministry, yeah. and God bless everyone to get well from this pandemic. And stay safe. Stay safe. <laughs>